Hey, what's up, you guys? Welcome back to another episode. I'm so glad you guys are tuning in. Today, we have an amazing show. We have a guest who wrote a book, and he's going to tell you all about it. But before we get to that, I want to let you guys know something. You cannot be a great leader if you are always trying to fit in. Great leaders do not fit. They stand out. They don't go and do what Joe and Paul and Mark and Luke and everyone else is doing. They, Mark and Luke and John and everybody else, they're going to follow you. They're going to look at you and say, I want to be like you. I want to do what you're doing. You should not be trying to be the fit in. You should be the trendsetter. So any of you guys who are in leadership and those of you who are also trying to be a leader or wanting to be a leader, yo, there's something for one has to be a part of your persona. People have to find something about you that they find interesting and want to learn and want to follow you. But when you have those people, make sure you give them good direction. Don't lead them astray. Show them what a leader does. Don't allow someone, listen to me very clearly, don't allow someone to pull you off of a path of leadership by trying to taint your mindset and giving you what they think you should do, but you do what you know you're supposed to do, whether if you learned it in college, whether you learned it from a mentor, or whether you just learned it from life. Be you. The only person you have to answer to is God, all right? Thank you for tuning in. I'm so messing up right now. But anyways, let's get this show on the road. For those of you who like to eat, it's Professor's Restaurant of the Week. This week, I went to a restaurant called The Water Grill. It is located at 1401 Ocean Avenue in Santa Monica, California. Great view of the beach, of me, of the water, and amazing food. Look at this food that I ordered at this restaurant. I had got... A lobster roll, and the bread is amazing, of course. It was amazing. Nice spices, nice texture, and it was filling. So for those of you who like some, you know, seafood or you like a nice little roll, you can go over there to Water Grill. They will do you right. And also, it's an amazing view of the water. So check it out. Again, it is 1401 Ocean Avenue in Santa Monica, California, the Water Grill. Tell them your boy sent you. Now, on the other news, it is now Ask Professor. Someone inboxed me this week and said, I want to be an influencer. How do I go about doing that? I'm going to ask you this. You first have to know the difference between an affluence and influence. Here's the difference. An affluence person is someone who's in the limelight, who wants to be in front, who wants the glitz and the glam and the, and the cameras and the, and the clicks and the action, all that kind of stuff. You want to be in front. You want to be the pe person that people look at and, and all that stuff. An influencer is someone who influences someone's life, whether they are in front of the camera or behind the camera. You can be an influencer in the boardroom. You can be an influencer in your family, with your friends, by giving them advice, giving them the, the, the goal, how to do, how to go about. That's what an influencer does. They influence and they impact someone's life. An influencer is someone who just look good and people just want to follow them just for the, for the sake of it. Case in point, I see on Facebook this following week, a friend of mine posted that everyone goes crazy and shares about when Rihanna gets pregnant. But when your family members share that I started a business, no one shares it, no one says anything. Your family member who's starting a business is an influencer because they are showing the next generation that you can be somebody, you can build some, something, you can make something out of your life, and you are showing the next generation how to be successful. 
an influencer, it's just someone like Rihanna who you guys just want to look at, listen to the music and be like, but she's not really doing anything to impact your life like the person next to you is. Be mindful of who you allow to guide your life. And also, be helpful and help people when you see them trying to be successful. If you have family members, if you have friends that are doing something in their life, help them, push them, get behind them. Don't wait until they at Rihanna's level. Help them right now on the ground floor. All right, that is Ask Professor. I'll be right back after these commercial breaks. Welcome back. You know what time it is. It's time to give away some money. It is Professor's Wallet. I want to start off again by saying congratulations to last week's winner, Aisha Fletcher. I hope you enjoyed the money that we sent you in whatever way you decided to, whether it's buying gas, buying some lunch, taking somebody else out to eat, or just paying the bill. I'm glad that you are a faithful um, what, what am I trying to say? I'm glad you are a faithful subscriber and watcher of the Xavier Muswell Show. I'm not editing, editing any of this out. You're going to see all my mess ups this week. I'm going raw. Anyways, y'all like, shut up. Let's get to giving away this money. All right, here we go. Without further ado, drum roll, please. And the winner is... Kevin Milburn, yo, Kevin, I'm so glad you are a faithful watcher. You wouldn't be on this list if you weren't. So, you enjoy your winnings. Thank you for entering to Professor's Wallet. And tell somebody, share it, tweet it. I won Professor's Wallet, I got money. Let it rain, my guy. Yo, we'll be right back after these commercial breaks. I have a special guest, don't go nowhere. <laughs> Hey, what's up, you guys? Welcome back. I have an amazing guest here with me in the studio today. He has written a book. It's called, entitled, Blessings in Freedom. Blessings in Freedom. So he's going to talk about his book, tell you why he wrote it, tell you his story. Hopefully some of you guys can relate. And if you like what his story is, you can go and purchase the book, invite him out to your churches, to your events, buy the book, follow him on Instagram, all that stuff. So without further ado, my guest today is Kevin Boyd. Welcome, my guest. How are you doing, sir? Hello. I'm glad to be here. I'm doing great. I am so happy to have you in the studio today. So I, I learned about your story. I was on Facebook, and sometimes they alert you when people are going live. And I was like, okay, well, like, what is he talking about? Sometimes I'll go and just click and see what people are talking about. So I clicked on your video and I started listening to what you were talking about. But I'm not going to tell your story. I'm going to let you tell it. But it intrigued me because I connected with it in a, in a, um, in a certain way because I wrote a book about my life and what I went through. And when you were talking about the things that you went through and your change, I was like, yo, I, I feel where this guy is coming from. So tell the people, what is your book about? Blessings in Freedom. Where did you get the title from, first off? Well, the Holy Spirit actually gave me the title. Um, <clears throat> let me just tell you a little bit about my story. I uh, was molested by my father from the age of five through high school. And of course, by my innocent being, innocence being taken, I identified as gay. And uh, I lived my whole life, uh, you know, I, I lived my whole life that way. And uh, I am a Christian. So I had a, a battle between living a Christian life and living a gay life. So it was a, 
it was a very trying experience because I felt like I lived in two different, two completely different worlds. And what happened was I had a divine encounter with God and um, basically I came out of the lifestyle because I began to get convicted about it because I believe that the Bible does not support that lifestyle. Mm -hmm. Not to say that people that choose that are any less valuable or any less, you know, um, I don't know what the word is I'm looking for, but not to, not to discredit any, anyone, but for me and my life and my convictions. So what you're saying I is you're, you're not giving direction on what people, how they should live their life. You're saying this is what you wanted for your for life. Me. So basically, is it safe to say that you made a choice? So a lot of times people say that it's not a choice. It's they were born this way, this is who they are. From your own experience, are you, are, can you say that it is a choice or it's not a choice based that's on your a, own experience? That's a great question. I usually take the Bible as my reference for everything. And the Bible does say that we are all born in sin and shaped in iniquity. Mm -hmm. And with that being said, I believe that we can have a pre predisposition to uh, be inclined to all sorts of things, whether it's sexual immorality, drugs, lying, a thief. I think we all gravitate towards some, some level of... Uh, we'll say sin, I mean, because that's basically what the Bible refers to it as. So I think we can be born all sorts of ways. But I believe that if, if you are a true Christian, whatever, however you were born and whatever you've gotten into, there is a way out. And we follow the biblical principles, which is whatever you struggle with, you can take it to God and God can help you with it. So basically what you're saying is because a lot of people don't follow the word of God. A lot of people aren't Christians. A lot of people aren't even religion, religious. So y your choice was based off of your, your religious practice. And for those who don't have religious practice, they don't have anything to, to like guide them on that. So True. basically what you're saying is your choice was driven by your religious practice, not by society, not by people around you, but because you decided, because a lot of people it's up to them to decide to follow the Bible or not. Because you decided to follow the Bible, you decided to make this choice for your life. Have you had any backlash because of the choice that you've made to stop living that lifestyle? Because you know, a lot of times people say, um, you know, well, you do whatever you want to do. And, but, you know, do, are people okay with you making the choice? Have you gotten any hatred because of the choice that you made? Uh, yeah, that, that, that's a great question. Um, the slogan to my book is Dispel the Myth. And the myth is once gay, always gay. And a lot of people believe that, but I'm living proof once gay, always gay is not always an absolute statement for the simple fact that I no longer sleep with men. Um, I struggle with several things throughout my lifetime. I struggle with pornography addiction, masturbation, and a whole lot of other things, promiscuity. And uh, when I had the divine encounter with the Holy Spirit, you know, he took those desires away and I no longer struggle with those things. But it wasn't a particular denomination. It wasn't um, like a religious event or anything like that. It was me making the decision to change my life and the Holy Spirit gave me step-by-step -step principles and tools of what to do, how to get free. You know, it's just over a process of time, and it was a process, it wasn't a quick fix. Yeah. Over a process of time, my desires and my the identity changed. I saw myself different, because I, orig originally I thought I was a gay Christian. And okay. then I realized, according to the word of God, there's no such thing. And I know some people will not agree with that, but I follow the New Testament Bible and the New Testament Bible speaks of it as an unnatural affection. Okay, so, so in in your book, what can you tell our audience? What are they going? What are, what are they going to be reading? What did you put in your book? Give us some main points that you know we can take away from your book. Okay, so my book, my book basically uh, chronicles my uh, my life. You know, from a child through through uh, through my recent years and. So the story is about being abused and the trauma and the things that happen as a result of that. 
but then it also provides hope. And the thing is this, you don't have to struggle with sexual immorality. If you struggle with any undesirable thing that is detrimental to you and you want to get out of it, you can follow the principles in my book and achieve freedom. Cause so basically you're saying whether someone's dealing with alcohol addiction, smoking, yeah. pornography, whatever it is, in your book, they can read and get points on how to get out of whatever situation that they're dealing with that they want to get out of. Absolutely. Like you said, it's a choice. And I made the choice to come out of it because I wasn't happy in that lifestyle. A lot of people don't are, are not honest about where they are and the the consequences of their choices. So so basically, you guys, um, his book it gives you guidance on how to get out of whatever you're dealing with, whatever situation. It's not just promiscuity. It's not just homosexuality. It's not just you know um, um, sexual immorality. It's whatever you're dealing with. If you make a choice to get out of whatever situation you are dealing with, it's not based on society, it's not based on your family, it's not based on your friends, it's not based on your coworker or anybody. Whatever choice you want to make, and if you feel like there's something in your life that you want to get rid of or you want to stop doing, you can pick up, you can pick up this book. I said pick up. You can pick up Blessings gotcha. in Freedom. The title speaks for itself. It's saying like, I, I'm blessed in my freedom. If I walk in my freedom, there's a blessing in it. What is a blessing? The blessing is I'm free. I'm not, I, I'm, I'm free from doing whatever I deem is wrong for my life. Is there anything else you would like to leave our audience with on today? Um, just, just basically, you know, I like what you said about, you know, you can be free from anything. Um, so I just want to uh, tell you how you can get the book. It is available on Amazon, Blessings okay. and Freedom. Just nice. type in type in Blessings and Freedom. You'll find it. And then I also have a website. If you would want a signed autograph copy, you would get it from my website, which is dispelthemyth.godaddysites. I'll repeat it again. Dispelthemyth.godaddy.sites. And we'll also have it. In the lower third right here. Awesome. And we'll have it in the description of this video. Don't you, you have an Instagram, any other social media platforms? Yes, I have Instagram. My Instagram is Kev, K-E-V, Boyd, B-O-Y-D, 777, Kev Boyd, 777. Okay. And where the, can, you have Facebook as well? Yes. Plug Facebook, in? Kevin Boyd. Uh, what's the other one? TikTok, KB. You got TikTok, all right. KB set free. <laughs> Clubhouse, Kevin Boyd. All awesome. right, so you can find him on any of those platforms. Go to his website. I'm quite sure he has all the social media plugins on this, on that as well. We'll have his descript his information, social media platforms, his website, all in the description below, and you can also see right here in the low, lower third. Go follow him, buy his book, hit him up, talk to him, send him a message. I'm quite sure you're open to talking to people if they need to reach out to you and they need some advice or anything like that. Yes, most definitely. If you have family members in that lifestyle and you want to understand it better or their desire to be free from it or whatever, you can you can reach me through social media and I will be more than glad to share what I have to help. All right. Um, and we got <laughs>so much for tuning in this week for another amazing episode i'm glad that you took time out of your busy schedule to tune in at five o'clock on this monday again share follow me on instagram follow me on twitter subscribe to me on youtube follow me on facebook wherever you see this video share it and tell somebody xavier is over there doing something big and if you have anything that you are doing in your life you have a business you have a book you're a musician you're a singer tell your boy inbox me come on the show so we can tell the whole world also if you have any questions that you need answers to 
I might not have the answer. I might find somebody else to get the answer for you. You can ask your Professor X, and I'll do my best to answer your question. But also, like I always say, take it with a grain of salt because I am not all seeing and all knowing. I just give you what I know throughout my life and the wisdom that I have now from being, shoot, alive as long as I have been. So again, thank you for tuning in. I will catch you next week, same time, same channel, same place. Catch you later. Peace.